Deathloop, Ellen, you've been playing it? Really Tell good. people in two words if they should buy it. Yes, now. Great, now that we've <laughs> fulfilled the information <laughs> portion of our ob a broadcasting yeah. obligation, now I'm going to give you a death loop. Choose your own adventure. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, brace your head. Yeah, I wouldn't get too excited yet. It's going to be very hard. Show of the weekend. 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 So it's been a while since we did a choose your own adventure oh, on show of the weekend. Oh my God. Always what love doing throwback. them. Throwback. And, and well, I wanted to do a Death Loop themed one with loads of death in it because in Death Loop you die in little loops. And in the Choose Your Own Adventures, I die a lot. You, you die a lot. Um, yes. But, but I, I, I started and quickly realised this is this is too hard. This would take like this would be like dozens of A4 pages of dialogue choices. So we are going slightly off script and I've written it as a one-shot TTRPG. Wow. All right, Ellen. Deathloop is a game mm -hmm. about people who have chosen to live the same day over and over and over again. And that day is a wild party on an island. Mm -hmm. In the game, Cole, who's the hero, wants out of the loop. But to do that, he has to kill every influential figure on the island in one day before midnight. And if he dies, he goes right back to the start. Making things tougher, at the start of the game, he has no memory of who he is or what his role is on the island. Okay, Ellen, the game you're about to play mm -hmm. has a similar premise. Okay. But instead of a whole party island, you're trapped in a house party <gasps> thrown by you and your three housemates, Aaron, Bella, and Clara. Aaron, Bella, and Clara. Yes. You wake up. Uh, is it well, because in fact, they're let's, ABC. Yeah. It's because they're ABC. Yes, it's Yay. because it's because I needed three names in about three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a dice, mm -hmm. a, a D6, an Oxventure dice. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's not an Oxventure special a dice. Oh, it's got a nice oh, roll. Nice. Um, it's a D6. There is only uh, going to be two modifiers in this game. Deathloop is a stylish game with a lot of sneaking, so this game has two modifiers: mm. sassy and sneak. You start with minus one in both and have four points to distribute between Sassy and Sneak. Yes, it is similar to the Gravity Rip modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> there, there might bear a passing resemblance to that. Okay. Yeah, so Sassy and Sneak. I'm going to go for Well, the thing is, Deathloop makes me want to play more Sassy. Although, like, basically, okay. I go in Sneak and then I Sass. So I think I'm going right. to equally distribute them between the two. Okay, so that would give you one in each, right? Yeah. Right, Ellen, you ready? Yep. Bring in, bring in the dice, then. <gasps> yes. Bring them, bring them in and leave behind the world of the real. <laughs> Walk through the door into the realm of imagination. Here anything is possible. Well met, traveller. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Yeah. Ellen, you wake up on the lawn of your house. It's dark. Uh, the, the grass is, is thick and prickly and a little itchy between, uh, between your fingers be be beneath you. The house behind you, is, as you turn, oh, you're a little stiff, but you look and you see the house is brightly lit behind you, and you can hear thumping party music. <laughs> so loud that it's slightly rattling the knocker on the front door. What do you do? I look for a window. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, this is one of those houses with windows. Yeah. I try and see if I can open it. Okay, uh, make me a sneak roll. I'm gonna ask you to beat a four. Oh, it's a six. It's a six. That's a crit. That's a crit. Crit, Amazing. crit, 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 crit. You creep up to a, a window. You're perched just beneath it. Uh, and you, you, what do you use for this? Uh, a nearby garden gnome. You sort of jam its hat into, into the <laughs> gap and just like that. And the window just uh, creaks open about uh, about six inches. The gnome is broken in the process. You no longer have the gnome. <laughs> I wasn't planning on carrying it around with Well, good, because this it's isn't gone. This is for dead. Good, because the gnome is gone. You've lost the gnome. Min minus one. No. <laughs> Your choices have consequences. <laughs> Broken a gnome. Okay. It's a gnome invasion. Right, go. <laughs> um, I would like to look into the window and have a little, you know, survey of the land. Okay. Make me another sneak roll. This time I'm going to ask you to beat a five. Oh. <gasps> five plus one. Five six. plus one. Okay, excellent. <laughs> You uh, you look in. The room is very very crowded, but but you manage to just duck back out of view before anyone sees you. It's full of it's full of party guys. It looks like everyone is everyone inside the house is is partying, reveling mm -hmm. reveling hard. Mm -hmm. There's drinking. There's there's games. 
There's a bit of karaoke this? happening. This is my house. Yep. And I haven't been invited to my <laughs> own house party. What's going on? I would like to go to the front door and knock it. Okay, yeah, uh, no need to roll for that. You knock dong 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 on the door. You, you have to knock twice because again the music's really loud. But eventually, uh, someone opens the door. Uh, it's a cool looking guy. You recognise him actually. Your, your memory is a little hazy, but you recognise that this is a, 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 a friend of Aaron's you think you met once. He's got a cool leather jacket and slick back hair and a comb, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and he opens the door with a big smile on his face and his face falls when he sees you. He says, you've got some nerve showing up here today after what you did, and he punches you so hard in the stomach you die. <laughs> Wake up, <laughs> through the time, <laughs> you're pulled backwards through the time loop, and you wake up on the lawn again. You look around in, in confusion. What have you done? It looks like time has been reset. You look behind you, the door is closed. Mm -hmm. There's no sign. The window's the... shut, the gnome's fine, okay. Yeah, the gnome is back. Yeah. Back to one. <laughs> as you look around, um, you're surprised to see um, a skeleton runs up to you. You recognise it as your skeleton um, because of a distinctive scar on a rib that you know Ooh. that you know about <laughs> from a from a. From a How do you know about that? And why? Well, I I gave you the wound. Uh, <laughs> it was my spear. I am one of many trapped in the party loop for too long. You must be the one to free us all. <laughs> I can't stay long. You must make amends to your housemates for the party fouls. The party fouls must be forgiven. And it, it gets swallowed up into the ground. Is uh, well, she? Sorry, she gets swallowed up there because it's your skill. It's my skill. Yeah. The hands go like that. <laughs> I, I vomit a little you bit hurl. out of fear. <laughs> you hurl hard. You vomit so hard you die. Um, no. Wake up back on the lawn. <laughs> well, Lisa's done to clean up the vomit. Yeah. Okay. Nothing changes except now there's no longer vomit. All right. It. I want to look around for like a drain pipe or something. Uh, yeah. I, like I see my bedroom window and I, I'm like, yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. see how I can get up to it. Yeah. Uh, well, there is a drain pipe. Uh, the wall is partially covered in vines. It's mm -hmm. been raining recently, so it's not the easiest climb, but mm -hmm. feel free to attempt. I'm going to go for it. Why not? All right. Roll me a five. Sneak, sneak roll. Yeah. Beat a five. The way you've been rolling. So, oh no! <laughs> yeah, you get half. You get halfway up the drain pipe when it disconnects. Bam! Like that, your head bursts like a melon as you hit on the ground. Back on the lawn. All right. I would like to have a look around and see if there are any things that could help me. You're gonna have to be more specific. Like, than I, that. I kind of don't know. If I go to the window people will see me. If I go to the door, people will see. How do I get in the house? Okay, I look around for a ladder. You go around to the garage, because that's where the uh, garage, garage. You go around to the garage, because that's <laughs> the where, garage. I very much imagine like an American suburban home. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you head around to the garage, because uh, that's where you keep your ladders. Yes. Uh, and you go to pull open the garage door, but that's weird, you find it locked. That's odd in itself, you wouldn't expect. You don't, don't normally keep the garage locked, because you don't have any cars to yeah. steal. I would like to try and unlock the garage door, pick at the lock with the hairpin. That I have a little, uh, little pin that I can okay. try and... Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's make that sneak roll. This is the first time you're attempting it. So let's make that a B of four. Five. Five, Ooh, okay, yeah. Plus one is six. <laughs> you, uh, you feel the garage door lock like that. And uh, you lift it up. Inside the garage, it's really dark. Uh, that there's, it's very dimly lit. There's a sort of tool bench over in the corner. Mm -hmm. In here, the sounds of the party are, 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 are dimmer. It doesn't sound like pe people have extended the party into the garage. Mm. Uh, you, you see a hunched uh, form in the corner that you 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 feel like you might uh, recognise. Mm. I go over and say hello. <laughs> okay, you go over and say hello. As you get closer, you recognise the form of Aaron, your housemate. Yeah. Aaron is uh, sort of hunched over in, in, in the corner. It looks like he's cleaning a filter for a, for a, for a fish tank or an aquarium. Okay, or something okay. Like that. Some memories flash back, something to do with fish. A feeling of shame in your gut. What could it mean? As you get closer, you say hello to Aaron. Uh, make me a sassy roll. Let's try and beat a five. Five! Five, you're nailing it. Oh, well, that's a six five. with the modifier, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Aaron spins round, recognising you, ready to kill you with the filter in his hand. 
Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you with this filter right now. Because it would make a mess. Aaron you bashes didn't. your head in. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up back on the lawn. Uh, at, this point, at this point, the skeleton pokes its head back up. Hello. Uh, and says... Um, I like my, how husky my voice gets as I turn into a skeleton. My vocal cords, your, our vocal cords have rotted away. <laughs> um, and says, in the video game Deathloop, Cole gets to reprise uh, a skill where he comes back to life roughly where he was when he dies, but still with all his weapons and yes. skills. In the game we are trapped in, reprise is a little different. Here, if you have avoided death in some way, you always know how to do it. So essentially, you're able to fast forward or skip back to where you died, if okay. only if you can remember what you did on that run in order. Okay, when well, I go to the garage and I open the door and I go over to Aaron and say hi. Yep, okay, uh, Aaron spins around. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now with this filter. Because I'm sorry and I want to make it up to you. Damn it, Alan. You always push me to the very brink. I think that's it, we're done. But you do such good apologies. It's the puppy eyes. <sighs> what would it even matter? It's not like I'm going to bring the other two round, not after what you did to them and to me. Is, is there any way that I can make it, it up to you? <laughs> well, okay. I mean, I, we were t talking yesterday after this happened about how much the medicine is going to cost. And uh, like, I, um, unless you have that money or that medicine, I, I can't see my way clear to forgiving you. Look, I can work extra hard to help you get that medicine. For the fish. For Simba. Little Simba, the goldfish. Goldfish? <laughs> well, it's gone colour. Simba is a prize lionfish. <laughs> 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 Bam! Dead. Wake you up on the lawn. I go to oh, the garage, I go say yeah. hello, I say, because I'm sorry I want to make it up to you, yeah. I say, because <laughs> I'll help pay for the medicine. Uh, your prize lionfish. Simba is a prize lionfish. He's lovely. He was, well, well, he was lovely. Hey, look. Before you interfered. Now the doctors don't know if he'll pull through. <laughs> I can't talk to you anymore. Bring back the fish medicine, and maybe, maybe we'll be square. Okay. And I will absolve the party foul. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh gosh, I put something in the fish tank blatantly. Blatantly, I've just been like, hey, in the fish tank with like, he'll like whiskey or whatever or something, or if, you know, in response to the scary ghost skeleton, I might have vomited in the fish tank if I'd had too much drink. Don't, don't drink to that level of all. Be responsible. Could be anything. Maybe there are other ways of finding out what it was you did. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I, I'll leave Aaron to it. I would like to try and go to a pet shop. <laughs> uh, you head to a pet shop, um, but it takes uh, ages and ages and ages. You get there and it's shut because uh, it's the night time and oh, yeah. it's 11.59 and then yeah. the clock ticks over to midnight and you die and wake up back up. Anymore. <laughs> so I wake up. I get a brush and get a little makeup. Yeah. Hide the paint and fade away the shake-up. Yeah. Why'd you leave your keys on the table? Here you go, create another fable. You wanted to. Um, yeah, so, okay, so I go in the garage, open the door. Uh, I say sorry to Aaron. I'll buy the medicine. I'm sorry about your lionfish. Yep. I'll fix things. Okay. These memories stay in your brain, by the way, when you die. So you don't... Okay, if you, so if don't all you want to hold on to is information, you don't necessarily have to like... Okay, okay, okay. Re so, retraces. right, from the garage then, mm -hmm. I would like to try and go in the house? Like, sneak in the house? Yes, sounds good. All right, make me a sneak roll. Uh, you're heading straight into the house, which is full of revelers. This is going to... And it's the first time you're trying it. B to five. Oh, four plus one four is plus five. Four plus one is five. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> uh, you you push open the garage door and and, and peek your head inside. Um, uh, uh, amazingly, it comes just at the point of a massive dirty drop in the dubstep that everyone's Ooh. listening to. So boom. <laughs> yeah. You're now in the you're through a little corridor, and now you're in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you you are you are kind of crouched behind a, a, a kitchen. Snacks. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a there's a kitchen island because you, your oh, house is nice, mm -hmm. and it's covered in snacks and drinks and stuff. And you uh, you 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 you're crouched behind. There are a bunch of revelers uh, reveling. 
uh, nearby, kind of on the other side, but you're out of view for now, and they're just uh, they're just chatting amongst themselves and having a conversation. I'd like to ha see if I can look around mm -hmm. for a fish tank, like just scan the the room. Yeah, sure. For a fish tank. Yeah, no need to roll for this. Uh, as you look over, there's a kind of archway that leads into what is clearly the the living room, and in the centre, there's a plinth where clearly once stood a very emotionally significant fish tank um, mm -hmm. but now there's just the kind of jagged bottom glass bits of a fish tank kind of the ruins of a, oh, no, the I ruins the, the ruins of a fish tank I smashed the fish tank oh no I fell into the fish tank <laughs> <laughs> did I like try and do a death drop or something and then I just <laughs> oh, oh my that's better <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well I can see, okay, right, I've smashed the glass. Gosh, where do I go? What do I do from there? <laughs> At this point you hear some of the revellers uh, exchanging a few words. Ooh, um, yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'd like to listen in on the revellers, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, no need to roll, because you're already snuck, you're already hidden. You're, all you have to do is listen, so I don't think this needs a roll. Yeah, you hear some of them have a conversation uh, and it goes um, something like, uh, I'm so glad I found you. I had to get away from Sienna. Oh, you know, she wasn't even supposed to be here. What? Is that why I haven't seen Bella all night? Yeah, exactly. You know it was Ellen's fault. What? Oh my gosh, is there anyone in this house that she hasn't upset? <laughs> Do you know where Bella is now? I don't know. I think she's... I, I, I saw her at the beginning of the party, but as soon as Sienna showed up, she was gone. I think she's in the pool house. Okay. <laughs> like to sneak out and go to the pool house. <laughs> All right, make me a sneak roll to see how well you get. There's a crowded party, you gotta go through the living room to get out of the garden. That's not good. That's a four plus five. It's not gonna do it. No! Uh, you sneak out, but you put your uh, one foot in, a, in an empty pipe of Pringles that someone's left <laughs> on the floor and skid noisily into a bin. Um, the, part, the music goes, <laughs> stops. Everyone turns around and goes, it's Ellen! Get her! <laughs> and they all pounce on you and beat you to death and kill you. Back on the lawn. <laughs> okay, so I'm on lawn. Yeah. I'd like to go to the pool house. That's just like a nice thing. <laughs> yeah, that's Sometimes, fine. Like in Deathloop, it's actually not bad if you die because you just get kicked back out to an easier place. Exactly. And um, you, this is actually much easier. You, you move around the back of the house um, to, uh, you, you see that there is the pool. There are some people sort of stood around the pool. You figure later probably some people are going to jump in this pool and have a lovely party time. But, but for now, it's kind of empty. The pool house is there and there is a light on in the pool house. Okay. I'd like to go to the pool house and, and just like knock on the window with an apologetic look. Yeah. Very sheepish. Like. Are you saying sorry? I'm, I'm like mouthing it. I'm You're mouthing it. Sorry. Okay, then this is going to be a sassy roll. Roll me a uh, beat of five. Okay. Seeing as you've been rolling so high. Four, Three, all four. together. Yeah, you, you mouth. Sorry. Stomping up to the, the window, you see the familiar form of Bella, your housemate. She's got tear streaked mascara. Um, she's clearly not having a very good party. She walks up and she sees it's you. She draws the curtains. And then a moment later, she opens them back when she's got, back, she's got a shotgun. <laughs> Shoots you in the glass. Bam! You're dead. Back on the lawn. Uh, okay, well, I go back to the pool house. <laughs> yep, that's the pool house. And um, I uh, try and sneak into the pool house instead. Yep. Cool. Uh, go on, sneak roll, beat a, beat a three. Pool house is not super secure. Six. Six, okay, brilliant. Crit, yeah. crit, um, crit, crit. You, you throw a, a stone carefully at, uh, at, the, at, the, at one of the shuttered doors for the pool house and it just. You just knock the little latch off and it swings open and you creep in. You see Bella there. Uh, obviously at this point, because we've gone back in time, uh, her shotgun <laughs> sits unused <laughs> up against the wall. Uh, and she's just sat on a chair crying. Well, I'd like to go over and stand in between her and the shotgun. <laughs> Smart. And then you go, Bella, I'm so sorry. Nothing that I could ever say will ever make it up to you. I'm, I'm really sorry, and I'm, I'm sorry that Sienna's here as well. I don't know how she got here. You don't know how she got here? You don't know how she got here? You invited her! You know all she does is talk about her ant farm. <laughs> She's ruining the party! I can't hear another word about her ant farm! <laughs> what if it's an alien ant farm? <laughs> she shoots you with the shotgun. No! <laughs> 
she has another shotgun, which she keeps on her just in case there's an, someone breaks an alien ant farm reference. And just like in the movies, <laughs> she shoots you with her shotgun and poof, you go flying uh, through. The, but yeah, and you, yeah, you land cinematically in the pool. Everyone hears the shot in the party and they run out on the sea and go, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you wake up back on the lawn. <laughs> Like I've hurt a bunch of people. I don't know what yeah, has happened. Yeah. It's a stressful. And everyone hates it's me. a stressful situation, but we're going to make it right together. You're doing great. You're doing great so far. Yeah. All right. I go to the pool house. Yep. I, I knock on the. Uh, yeah. No. I, I sneak in. Yep. I stand between her and the gun. Look, I'm really sorry. Sienna's here. I didn't properly invite her. She, I just mentioned it offhand and she invited herself. You said, here look, I'll bring up the WhatsApp message. She brings up a WhatsApp message. <laughs> Sienna, you should totally come. It'll be wicked. And wicked is in italics, Ellen. Oh, I'm s Did you just forget that she talks about her ant farm non-stop? <laughs> look, I, I think I might have like a concussion or something. I don't know, because of my... You're all Stupid over the Stupid behaviour. I know, I know. I need to get my life together. And yesterday with Simba as well. I know, I know. And I Clara. <sighs> Wait, what did I do to Clara? Sorry, my head hurts so much. It's not my truth to tell. But like, if you could. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a sassy roll. <laughs> Make me a sassy roll be a... Just be a four. Let's give this easy odds. What? what? <laughs> How dare you make this all about Clara, she says. Uh, and this is like a music studio. <laughs> she grabs a, she grabs like a flying a guitar. bee guitar and like, clang. <laughs> back on the lawn, I'm assuming back to the pool. Back to the yeah, sound in the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I invited Sienna. I, yeah, I just get like excited when we have a party coming up. I'm like, yeah, 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 she come, she come, she come. And then I forget that she just talks about her ant farm. She just talks about her ant farm. It's, I mean, it's not, it's, it's like the least cool farm to have. It's not even a good ant farm. I know. That's what bothers me so much Yeah. about she, it. She, she's just like, oh, it's the and it's like, it's like, it's like a tiny little We cube. both had ant farms growing up and mine was better and I never mention it. I know, <laughs> I know, but we just, I know, just know that I know. Okay. okay, okay. We all know. We all, everyone's just, you know, saying, oh, cool, to be nice. But we all know that you really have the best hand on. Thank you. That's okay. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Yeah? Get her to leave the party. Yeah? And we can be friends again. The party pal will be forgiven. Okay. Now go. <laughs> nice guitar and shotgun, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, they are good, aren't they? <laughs> Thank hey, you. antiques? Yes, they are. Thank you for noticing. Okay, yeah. Tell you what, because you made such a nice observation, uh, let me give you a little steer on the Clara situation. Okay. Because, um, I mean, if you think you dropped the ball with Simba and inviting Sienna to the party yesterday, I mean. I mean, I, I've just learned I should not juggle because I just dro dropped the ball on everything. That balls were dropped. Yeah. Here, big time. Clara is, well, I mean, I don't think she's come out of her room all day. And how can she? Okay. I've, said, I've said too much. Okay. I look for Clara's window in the back. So oh yeah. Like um, in the back. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you know which bedroom, Cla obviously you know which bedroom Clara's in and it does face out onto the lawn. Mm -hmm. It's the primo bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's the one with an ensuite. Oh. She called it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, to be fair, she queued up for the the rent place. Like she, she was, yes. it was under a lot of demand, and she actually queued up overnight. Yeah. So, yeah. so I would like to try and climb up to her window. Okay. There's no drain pipes on this side. So how are you? Uh, how are you getting up there? I look around to see if there's anything that I could like fashion into a rope, or like if there is a rope or there's something I could. Uh, there's an old tire swing, uh, tire swing. On that, that kind of overlooks the pool so that you can swing into the pool. So if you disassemble that potentially. Yeah. Or, no wait, I go and stand on the tire swing and I swing it and I try to get higher to be like, Clark. Okay, yeah. Clark. Cool. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And try and get a peek in her room. Nice. Let's make this a let's make this a sassy roll. I yeah. think, seeing as it's more <laughs> almost more conversational. Try and beat a four. One. 
Okay. I mean, there are so many ways this could have gone. <laughs> but the way that it does go <laughs> is that as you swing out, uh, the whole the whole tree that the thing is tethered to just goes, just pulled out by the roots, <laughs> falls into the pool. You're tangled up in a tire. And in the pool. And, and you're in the pool. <laughs> With a tree on top of you. With a tree on top of you. And you're, you're, you're trying to get out, but un unfortunately you, you can't, except you actually do. You sort of make it out. You stumble out. <gasps> large tire. And you stand up, but you feel faint. And as you fall over, because there's a tire around you, your, your whole body sort of bounces like that. And your house is kind of on a slope. Oh, and you no. live at the top of a long hill. So you go, dong, 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 dong. You roll all the way down the hill. And at, at the bottom of the hill, unfortunately, there is a... Um, uh, a a mincing plant <laughs> <laughs> for mincing stinky animals, and you fall into the stinky mincer and get stinky minced. You flash back to the lawn. <sighs> yeah. I, can I get to Clara's uh, bedroom from this side? Uh, yeah, sure. I, it would uh, probably mean um, going through the house, but that's entirely possible. Ooh. Okay. Well, it occurs to you that going through the house might be easier if no one knew you were there. You know what? I'm gonna try and sneak through the house upstairs. Okay. How are you sneaking? Like just uh, just staying out of sight or going incognito? I'm um, going incognito. The... So like I I do the Steve Rogers thing and put on a hat and sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which yeah. is a big deal because in this situation I never wear a hat and sunglasses. Never see me wear that. So I you yeah. know. Ellen would never. You take hat and sunglasses off the gnome. Yeah, um, which, <laughs> it's a pointy yeah. hat. Which, yeah, yeah, which, yeah, you've got a pointy hat. And a some, pointy ceramic your hat. A pointy ceramic <laughs> hat and some sunglasses. Uh, yeah, all right, well, let's see. I'll tell you what, because you're in disguise, just beat a two for this. Ooh. Three. Three. Woo. Okay, the, yeah, there's the, the party is really raging at this point. There are people playing beer pong. You're having to kind of like elbow through just to get to the stairs to head up. Uh, do you want to do anything down here while you're incognito? Do you want to listen in on any more conversations or are you heading straight up to Clara's room? Um, yeah, I'm going to have a listen. I'm going to have a listen, see if I can overhear anyone having a chat. Okay. Uh, well, um, you notice that the only part of the room that's not uh, particularly crowded, uh, in fact, there's just one person stood in the middle of quite a la large space and there's someone uh, who looks quite a lot like Bella uh, standing there and, and, and she's sort of like bellowing in the, in the direction of the, the person who's nearest to who, who, can't find any escape. The difference between worker ants and the queen ants is primarily determined by how they react <laughs> to phases of the moon. Or at least that's my theory. Uh, her eyes swivel towards you. Oh, were you asking me something about ants? Yes. What do you want to know? Um, can you show me some outside? I found some outside. Could you tell me about them? Yeah, I can identify pretty much any ant, as long as it's the kind of ant that is in my ant farm. Excellent, follow me. Okay. Uh, yeah, she so we me. walk to the front door. Yeah. On the, like... as, you, as you walk out through the front door, she tells everyone who she passes about yeah. her ant farm yeah. in exhaustive detail. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Quite a lot of time passes. Yeah, and then we're... There's only 20 minutes to midnight by the time oh you get to the front, <laughs> time, to the front door. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, cool, 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 cool. All oh, right, right. And then when we and get And in to conclusion, the... that's how I ended up drinking all the ant pheromones. Wow. Well, look, I found some ants over there. Could you go and have a look and tell me what they are? Yep. Uh, she she go, and then I shut the door. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> the door. The door is shut behind her. Um, <laughs> you hear um, you hear for a muffled voice um, like, hey, Mr. Gnome, did you ask about my ant farm? So she's happy. She's, <laughs> she's fine. She, she's, set, she's, set, she's set for the evening. She's having a lovely time. Then I would like to go upstairs now. Okay, cool. All right, you uh, you head up to your, your upstairs. You're still in disguise. You're now um, uh, outside Clara's room. Okay. I knock on the door. Okay. Who is it? And the answer better not be Ellen. It's Helen. Oh, Helen, thank God. Come. <laughs> Helen, I love the new hat and glasses. Thanks. Come in, but close the door. I can't bear to be seen like this. Um, Clara is wearing a full body Sonic the Hedgehog suit, but not the head. Did I crash the Sonic head into the, the <laughs> lion <laughs> fish? <laughs> Uh, well, no, well, you don't know, but you do notice oh. that the, you notice that the Sonic, uh, you notice on the bed, actually, mm -hmm. a huge Sonic head. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing is massive. Yeah. Picture Could a, you look at the camera the way you're looking at me? I'm talking huge. Yeah. <laughs> Picture a big Sonic head 
double it, double it again, <sighs> and you're not even close, okay? <laughs> I mean, the smell as you come in is, oh, a memory stirs. It's covered in mustard stains. Oh no, you said that you would loan her your ultimate party outfit, but you forgot to get the mustard stains dry cleaned off from the big chili dog eating contest you entered. Oh no! Take a seat, Helen. I guess you and I are going to have to have our own little party up here, seeing as I promised everyone that I'd be making a grand debut in the greatest party outfit of all time. Well, look at me. What's Sonic without his trademark head? <laughs> You know what? I think you could pull it off. We just spike your hair. Are you joking? And spray. Look, look. Do you I'm think just... this is acceptable to joke about? No, not at all. I just like being artistic. That's all. My spiked hair isn't going to be visible once it's in the big Sonic head, and no one's going to care about my spiked hair anyway. All they're going to see is the mustard stains. Yeah, but no, no, no. But that's the thing. You don't wear the Sonic head. You become the Sonic head. My God, Helen. Surely there's a YouTube tutorial on how to look like Sonic. Maybe there is. I tell you what, I'll grab the gel, you try and find one. Okay. <laughs> make, make, me a, uh, make me a sassy roll, only beat a two to beat your, to see how well you Google it. Four and, Four. and one is five. Plus one, yeah, five. You bring up a, a YouTube tutorial, how to spike your hair like Sonic. Uh, yes, this could work, this could work. And, and you... Yeah, and I paint the eyes so she looks like she's got one big eye. I do her makeup and Oh yeah, perfect, and perfect. How long do you think it takes all this? Probably <laughs> more than 20 minutes! Yeah, you're just you're putting the finishing touch on there when all of a sudden... <laughs> back on the... Right, I've got the keys to my house. Um, so I'm gonna go open the door and be like, Sienna, come here, right now! Oh, hey, yeah, you must have been asking about my ant farm. Yeah, I yeah. need you to come tell me about it. Not every, I'm like, I was just everyone gonna... run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, wait, wait, I go, everyone, pull. Okay, uh, make me a sassy roll. This will determine whether or not they are so excited about the pool that they run straight to the pool and don't turn around to check who is saying this. Yeah. One. <laughs> Ellen wants us to get in the pool! Probably so she can drown us. Probably so she can put us in fish hospital like she did with Simba. <laughs> they rush you, Sienna leads the charge. Uh. You have to eat all her ants and you die. <laughs> uh, okay, so I put on the disguise. Yep, and do exactly the same thing, but this and time go, in disguise. But this time in disguise, no, no, no. Okay. No, I put on the disguise and I go up to Bella first. Clara. Clara, okay. sorry, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, Bella's no worries. Yep. House. That's yeah. all happened before, so yep, in disguise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Still got a Helen. Hello. YouTube Hello. tutorial. YouTube. Da, la, la, la. Cool. Yep, yeah. you uh you you get Clara looking like like Sonic the Hedgehog, you don't even need the head. Mm -hmm. Kind of out of proportion, mm -hmm. but like you're always out of proportion in a full body Sonic suit yeah. because your body is always gonna be that tall. Yeah, and that's what you yeah, tell yeah. Clara and she totally yeah, accepts it. Um, Clara says, Thank you, Helen. This was really good of you. You really came through for me. You really made up for Ellen's mistake. I only wish that you were our housemate and you'd help me here and not. Well, the truth is, I take off the hat and glasses. <gasps> I'm sorry, Clara. I should have got it dry cleaned. It was Ellen all around. I hope that this makes up a little bit for it. It won't completely, like. It does, Ellen. But to be honest, I mean, it, I would like to back you and allow your re-entry back into the friendship group, but then I think about poor Simba on fish life support there in the fish hospital. I know. Poor Aaron. Why did you have to give him that stupid dare? Of course he can't backflip over his own fish tank. You should have known what would happen. I foolishly thought that he had some better acrobatic skills. You know how terrible he is at everything. Yeah, I should know. <laughs> <laughs> You can make and your then there's entrance. Bella. I can hear Sienna from up yeah, here. Yeah, I'm gonna go deal with Sienna. Okay. Once she's gone, uh, if you want to go get Bella, make your grand entrance. Go okay. get Bella. Bring her in, and I'll, I'll get rid of Sienna. Okay. The um. <laughs> back on. Cool. Yeah. So so uh, you're back in disguise. Mm -hmm. Bella. Um, sorry, Clara leaves the room. Mm -hmm. um, you you hear but don't see her descend the staircase and declare from the top of the staircase. Hey everybody. Gotta go fast! Uh, and you hear a pause in the party, and then a yeah! <laughs> a deafening roar as the party comes alive. The beat gets louder. In fact, they're playing City Escape. Everyone's jumping. Places to go, guys. Follow my rainbow. 
yeah, so that's the situation now. Lovely. So I go downstairs in my uh, glasses and hat, and yeah. then I go over to Sienna, and everyone's so, hopefully, so loud with the thing that she's yeah. finding it difficult yeah. to talk to people you about her You can hear Sienna anymore. going. And, and then, so I'm like, oh wait. So I go over to her, like, I like grab her by the wrist, and I'm like, So as I was saying, <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then I go, I go into the kitchen, mm -hmm. and then um, I go into the garage, and I see Aaron. I, oh, also, first I look around for Bella, see if Bella's in yet. Bella has come in from the pool house mm -hmm. now, and she's, mm -hmm. she's part partying. And Clara also has, has explained that it was that you said that you would sort something out. Mm -hmm. so like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But although, although you oh. haven't seen Bella yet, okay. canonically. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Aaron spins around. And he goes, "You've got some nerve coming to the party," and he attacks you with his fish filter. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Look, I shouldn't have given you that stupid dare. I should have known for like, a backflip. Hardly anyone could do a backflip. Like right. I know. I know. Look, <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's as much my fault as it was yours. I, I quietly think in the back of my head. Well, yeah, kind of, but I don't actually say that out loud. <laughs> yeah, but Aaron kind Aaron of knows. Aaron picks up on the little foot. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, it was... All right, fine, it was... it was maybe mostly my fault. You gave me a stupid dare. You shouldn't have done that. Party dares aren't cool, but you always have a choice. There's always a choice. And I didn't have to backflip over the fish tank. Mm. And now Simba's in the fish hospital on life support. And how am I supposed to get the money to pay for the fish medicine? You know what? We could film a super cool music video for Sonic. I, look... Clara, I, I fixed her up real good with a with a cool Sonic makeover because I'd got mustard all over the costume, but like the the like she's got cool super cool spiky hair. I've done her makeup. Wow. Like, let's do it. Let's do it in front of the pool. Aaron runs to the door and look, pokes his head out. She looks exactly like Sonic. I know. I mean the right? body's too long, obviously, but you're always gonna get that with a full body Sonic. Suit. Exactly. So um, let's do that and we'll we'll do a big big hits on YouTube. Yes. And with the 50p of AdSense money can go towards. That's how much the fish medicine costs. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Aaron grabs a, a really big cat film camera. Yes! Like, like that <laughs> from his shoulder. Because uh, Aaron's a bit of a tech nerd. Uh, and, and and it's like, yeah, come on, follow me. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, and you head out in, in, into the party. Uh, so everyone's around the pool now. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say to everyone? Guys, we're going to make the coolest viral video that has ever been on YouTube. You think Cat playing the keyboard is cool? Yeah, we do! Well, Woo! This is gonna be even cooler! Even cooler? I don't trust her! Someone comes up and pulls off the hat and sunglasses and goes, Hey everyone, look! It's Ellen! Let's drown her in the pool! <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill her violently with things around the house! No! But then Aaron, Bella and Clara go, Wait, everyone. Yes, Ellen did wrong. We all make mistakes sometimes. They're saying this exactly in unison. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. slightly, slightly spooky. She apologised and she made it right. And I think that shows great strength of character. Ellen, the party fouls are forgiven. Oh, thank, you. thank you for bringing us closer together and for bringing us the great idea to make everyone here rich with a great Sonic the Hedgehog viral yeah! video. <laughs> you do it. Uh, you make you it, but you get it on YouTube within uh, ten minutes. And <laughs> it's actually, it turns out to be pretty short because you only know the first few words to City <laughs> Escape. <laughs> and, uh, it's yeah, seconds. Rolling around at the scene of places to go. Follow, follow my rainbow. Da -da 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 Sonic the Hedgehog. Woo! Within moments, you're earning the sweet AdSense revenue. Um, <laughs> and Aaron has gone online and bought fish medicine. Yay! The loop is broken. Woo! Hooray! Flash forward two weeks, Sega copyright lawyers. <laughs> But that's a story for another day. Well done, Ellen. You made it out of the Death Loop party loop. Thank you. And well done, Luke, for getting Sonic in yet another video. <laughs> that was great Yay. work, Ellen. Good job. Thank Good, you. Good that was really fun. Yeah. There you go, Ellen. Well done. Yeah, thank you. you Close the loop. Woo! The Death Loop. Which is a video game. Yeah. No? That you can play now because it's out. It's yeah. really good. Uh, yeah, it's really good fun. Um, I wish we could say more about it, but unfortunately there's no time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it's like, uh, re it's all the best bits of Dishonored and all the best bits of Prey put into one video in the 70s aesthetic and I love it. Thanks for watching, bye!